Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, this video was inspired by Sade, who I worked with for three years at two different companies. <laughs> so, she had made a post on Facebook about what eyeshadow palettes to get into. And clearly, she doesn't watch any of my videos. But it's okay. No love lost. So, she was the inspiration behind this with my mini collection. Um, I'm just going to go through a few of the palettes that I have out. Um, trust me, there's a lot more stuff that I... My hair keeps getting caught on this backdrop that I like, but these are like what I dig into primarily like if I go out, if I do a video, unless it's like a new palette that I'm trying out. So we're going to start off first with the Juvia's Place palettes. Now I have a neutral palette somewhere. I have no clue where it is though. And I feel so bad because somebody brought it for me for my birthday two years ago. And it's, it's a nice palette, but I don't know where it's at. I, I wish I could find it, but I don't know where it's at. But I will post a photo somewhere so you guys can see which palette it is. It's it's a green palette. I think it's a, the Nubian palette. I don't know if it's Nubian 1 or 2, but it's a Nubian palette, and it's a lot of browns in it. It's a really cool palette. But this berry palette, I live. I live. I live. I Y'all know I love me some pink eyeshadow. I live for this palette. Like... And it's one, two, it's two metallics, a shimmer, and three mattes, which is amazing. And then the other palette from Juvia's Place. And I'm going to say it again, even though y'all know I love Jeffree Star. This is what Bloodlust should have looked like. Fight me. This is what Bloodlust palette should have mimicked at some point. So this has four metallics, four metallics or two shimmers, two metallics, and two mattes. And when I say smooth, like I did a video using this palette. I think it was this, this purple, right? Like... smooth smooth it, it's it's hard to find a good purple blue eyeshadow that's smooth like that next up it's funny how everything got thrown on my lap by by companies so color pop nude mood Again, I know every company, with the exception of Jeffree Star, has some type of nude palette. This was probably the fourth or fifth nude that they put out in the last few months. I, I didn't buy the Going Coconuts and I didn't want the Bare Necessities because I didn't need 30 different shades of brown. Like, I don't think nobody needs that many neutrals. Granted, I may have, like, about seven neutral palettes, but I didn't need a 30-pan palette. So, and then it sucks because this doesn't have a mirror. Like, I would have killed for this this palette to have a mirror. But, smooth. Smooth. Like, who child. Then, y'all know I live for black eyeshadow, right? My only complaint with this palette was that a lot of these blacks were gray blue based and it didn't give us the dark, dark black the culture needed. But I feel ColourPop will redeem themselves at some point with a nice black palette. But this Night Dream. Look, like, look at the reflectors in that. It's crazy. Cra Yo, 
Y'all gotta stop playing with me, man. Y'all, y'all gotta stop playing and just get in. Get with it or get lost in it. Like, if we're talking pigmented and affordable, like, this palette, I think, was... It might have been on sale, so I don't even think I paid full price for this. I'm lying. I'm sorry. I lied. I brought this the day that it dropped. I did get this the day, so I did pay full price. I think this was like 13 or 14 dollars, but it was worth it. Um, it was well worth it. Then, y'all, y'all should already know what I'm about to pull out for y'all, right? Chocolate girls brown eye girls blue will not steer you wrong because if you have brown eyes blue will go with your eye color your chocolate it'll go with your skin tone trust me trust me i don't care how dark you are do it like what more can this lighting is playing with me and then y'all know my favorite color and this is Lumi because I I put this on my brow bone when I go to highlight my brow bone and it's it gives off like a duo chrome effect which I live I live for it next we have two of the BYOP palettes. So BYOP is build your own palette. So ColourPop will let you pick either 12 eyeshadows or they'll give you like, I don't know, eight eyeshadows and two blushes. I don't wear blush, but now that I'm thinking about it, I should have did a palette with a bronzer in it because I've been hurting for a bronzer for the last few weeks now. But so this was the first one that I did. And so they give you the empty palette and the eyeshadow is like $2 each. So I did this one. So this is when I say I have like seven neutral eye palettes. This, I mean, I think I did good with this palette. I really think I did very, very good. Uh, sadly though, m with the exception of these two colors, everything in this palette is a shimmer or metallic. So you can see that there's a black in it. But the black's a freaking shimmer. The black's a freaking shimmer. I'm just trying to find a nice matte, matte, matte black. I'm going to find it, trust me. Same way I told you I was going to find the perfect neutral lip. And I think I've been killing it with my neutral lips lately. And then this palette is a little on the brighter side, again, with the exception of this, 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 and this. Everything in this palette is a shimmer or metallic. That pink though, I'll swatch the pink for y'all because that pink is just, and then you see how like it looks wet, but it's not. Come on, come on y'all, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta get with this eyeshadow movement. And in my last three y'all already know who they're from y'all know already y'all already know now jeffree star he wins when it comes to packaging this this coffin was like when I tell you the packaging it came in, I wish I still had the box because the packaging was bananas. The the tissue from the tissue paper to the unicarton, bananas. This clasp, blue butt, blue butt was like, and I got this the day. Like I think all my Jeffree Star palettes I brought the day they dropped. Um. And it sucks because I don't use this palette as much as I should for a $54 palette. I should be wearing a blue eyeshadow every day, but it's okay. But I primarily brought it for these two right here. This ocean. Ocean ice is a pressed glitter, I think, too. Do y'all? Like... 
And then what's crazy, I don't know if I can find it. Let me see. He made, when he did the, the lip bundle, he did a blue that matched the eyeshadow. So this is Titanic. Where, where did I swatch that? So that's the eyeshadow. That's Ocean Ice. That's Titanic. Come on, y'all. Y'all gotta stop playing with Jeffrey. None. Y'all really do. Then. Okay, sorry about that, folks. So we stopped that blue blood, right? So we were talking about Titanic and Ocean Ice. Next up. I think this, I think this was the first Jeffree Star palette I purchased. Again, the faux leather the class, this had looked like a, um, a tape, like a VHS when, when, when it comes in the unit carton. And this is what this beauty looks like. And... I've seen a lot of people complain about how this stains it's red and his formula is vegan so it's not the crushed beetles that a lot of red eyeshadow palettes that aren't vegan um are so it's more pigment so it's going to stain so this is why in every video i do i prime my eyelids i've never had this palette or the ColourPop red palette that I have. Like I have the main squeeze and have the, the Bretman Rocks lit red palette. I've, I haven't had an issue. I, um, yeah. I haven't. You lay a good base down, it'll come right off. Um, let's swatch. It's smooth. This is the color Blood Sugar. <sighs> like. <sighs> y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta stop playing with me, man. Like, and it, it looks like it's a crazy palette, but it's really not like, it's a lot of neutral. Now that I'm thinking about it. This is a very neutral palette. Um, minus cavity, prick, and maybe root canal. These are all wearable colors. Like, chocolate girl, stop being scared to wear color. Like, hello. <laughs> like, I am the, the poster child for not for wearing color because y'all know I love me some colors and then my last this these I have five Jeffree Star palettes but these are like the, the ones that I absolutely adore it is a shame spring 2020 got canceled because this palette when I tell you there is literally every color in this palette it may be a weird shade of it but it's literally every every color of the rainbow is in this palette um i think my favorite is orange juice it's a metallic orange and just i if eyeshadow is soft i'm here for it so this is what orange juice looks like like oh my like I, I can't wait to see what his what his palette for April was supposed to look like. Part of me is really hoping it's a neutral palette, but part of me is hoping it's a green like if it's a green palette, I'm gonna die. Like I'm I was really hoping Bloodlust was gonna be a green palette and it turned out to be a purple palette and it let me down because it wasn't any like it's like four purple shades in it. Again, that the Juvia's Violet palette is what Bloodlust should have been. But if he does like a, a Blood Money palette, I'm just envisioning the greens now. Like, ColourPop has a green, has two green palettes. They have the Just My Luck 
and they have the mint to be the mint to be is the pastel counterpart to that but i'm looking for a money green eyeshadow and a really nice evergreen shadow like nyx has a nyx has a jumbo pencil called rocky mountain green i need that in an eyeshadow i need that in a pigmented creamy eyeshadow and life will be good but that's really it for this eyeshadow like my favorites so i've done and i've done it i've done it for, guys it's midnight on the east coast i'm exhausted i've done a foundation videos of my favorite foundations versus my not so favorite um i don't really mostly all of my eyeshadow palettes that i do own i i enjoy like all these ColourPop nine pans i have the entire monochromatic collection except like if it's a pastel i don't have it because i don't like wearing pastels like i need bright pop in your face color but i have the actual rainbow monochromatic collection like i have all of those palettes and i like them i like them all actually it's just the black one the blue one those are my go-to's like if i have to do a look and the um nude mood if i have to do those and I have like those are the one they're transportable like I would take these when I would wrestle and it would just be like oh my god like what that like the, it's so bulky and you're paying for the packaging you're not really paying that much for the shot you're paying for this pack this lovely packaging the color pop I could throw and go I could put four of them palettes in my bag and never know so if that, that's what I need to go to. Those are my go-tos. Um, the Maybelline, um, their nude collection, the nudes, the blushes, which was like that rose gold kind of gimmick that they did, and the 24 karat. They dropped that at the perfect time because that is when Bruno Mars put out 24 karat magic. The marketing timing was perfect. That I wore that palette, I want to say, for like two months straight. Like, anytime we went out, that is what I had on my face was 24 karat, 24 karat, 24 karat. You like, couldn't tell me nothing. But this, this Juvia's place, like I said, I wish I knew where the Nubian palette was because that is a really pretty palette, too. Um, like I said, Juvia's place, I. I just started getting into them. Um, I haven't heard the greatest when it comes to their actual website. Like, I got my Juvia's Place stuff through Ulta because Ulta has an amazing return policy. I heard with Juvia's Place, if you, and I've had friends that have gone through this. This is why I, I know this. I had a friend, she brought something directly through Juvia's Place. And they wouldn't let her return it. They wanted to give her store credit. Like, no. If I tell Ulta, I don't want this. I didn't like it. It wasn't my cup of tea. Ulta's going to tell me, okay. Send it back. Your money's back on your card. And boom. No problem. That's the kind of return policy I like. So, anytime I, I buy Juvia's Place, I buy it through Ulta. You should too. Um, Jeffree Star, I, the customer service, honestly, it could be better. Um, it could be better in the aspect of when you order something, they take forever to send you tracking information. And I don't know about everybody else, but I know when I order from the actual Jeffree Star website, whenever I get shipping information, it's usually two or three days before my package arrives and thankfully i have security in my building where they'll hold our packages if nobody's home so i've never had an issue where like i've ordered from jeffree star and my packages have gone missing but i've heard people order from jeffree star their stuff has gone missing and the customer service there hasn't been any help if you're into jeffree star stuff i would say because this is how i purchased a lot of my stuff as well I order his stuff through Beautylish. 
I think the only things I've purchased from his website are the mystery boxes and I think the blood sugar palette. Blue Blood, I ordered via Beautylish. Jawbreaker, when it dropped, I ordered via Beautylish. Um, most of the lipsticks, lip glosses, highlighters, they have been a combination of mystery boxes or a Beautylish order or when I've gone to Vegas and I've gone to a Morphe store. Concealers, Morphe store. I would never chance buying a concealer from his line and not be able to test it first because like I said I I've never had to return anything to him so I don't know how the return policy is for JSC online but again Beautylish Morphe they will let you return stuff so just look into return policy folks and in color Colourpop y'all good Colourpop ain't no issue but Colourpop is also sold in Ulta my thing is if you can go to a store go to the store don't pay for shipping and all of this other nonsense go to a store see if you like it if you don't you don't have to buy it and if you do buy it and you get home and you don't like it you can bring it back um so yeah so that's it for this video um yeah so maybe my next video will be concealers because you guys know i always nag about my concealers so once my ultra order arrives you know we're still quarantined so i don't know when my ultra package is going to arrive but whenever it does maybe i can do a review on all these concealers that i have and then maybe i'll do a lip video too because y'all know i live for a gloss i live for a liquid lip so till then i will catch you in the next one